G'day morning, Global Surveyor. I'm um, out here in the northern beaches today undertaking a survey to mark a swimming pool and one of the things I have to do is measure to <coughs> some state survey marks. You can see here, state survey mark 24843 on the corner of Arabi Place, Warrywood. I'm just going to set up like a tier 16 total station I've just leveled it up I'll just double check here bubbles nice and level which is good and I've just turned on my Leica CS20 controller that's connected now to the total station and I'm going to change the prism here I was previously using a Leica mini prism but now I want to use a Leica 360 degree prism as you can see here and we're going to turn on the AP20 auto pole by pressing this button for a few seconds and we'll wait for it to initialize and connect to the CS20 controller which you'll hear shortly Sometimes it takes a moment. There you go. Sometimes, if you turn on the button, uh, you might just have to press it another time. So I've found to get the uh, connection going. But we're ready to go. I've got my job set up, and we're going to do a resection. I'm going to give my Go through the menu here, total station setup, resection. I'm going to call my point ID 5000, instrument height of zero. Not really interested in knowing the height. And I'll just call the station the station point code. The first point I need to measure is this SSM. going to be point number 1038. So I'm going to put 1038 in the controller, change the target to a like a 360 degree prism, and first things first I'll get the instrument turning towards 360 degree prism. See? Drop the target. And I'm going to measure the first target here. I'm going to turn the tilt on. And firstly, we'll get the tilt going. I've got to just jiggle this AP20 a bit until the tilt has started. And you can see how quickly it actually disengages because you need to be moving this AP20 quite a bit. Just not too much, but just, just enough. So we're going to measure this 1038. Okay, so because it stopped it wouldn't restore the point so we've got to make sure the tilt's going and measure it very quickly that's the only way to effectively use this for setup because it's tilt we don't really have to worry too much about we don't have to worry about the bubble at all now as you can see it's still tracking me so what I'm going to do is just stop that for the time being and the reason I stop that is because it starts to consume battery power by tracking you and I've got to go for a short walk up the road now to find the next survey mark to which you'll see soon. So I've just arrived at the state survey mark here which you can see 
and about 10 minutes before I started to set my instrument up, there was a car parked here. And I thought, gee, how am I going to measure this with a vertical pole? Well, that's why I've got the AP20. I knew that I could actually measure it quite well, not having to worry about uh, having the pole vertical. And I've come up here, all excited to use my AP20 on this point, and the car's moved, you wouldn't believe. But not to worry, I'm still going to use the tilt. I've just got to get the tilt initialised, which I have. This is 0.1048. And I've measured it. So that's good. Stop the tilt, save a bit of battery power, and we'll go to the next point. So, um, yeah, so th this little section here of the northern beaches in Warrywood um, is really, really uh, difficult for boundary definition. A lot of the original survey marks from the subdivision have been knocked out, and um, it's really a surveyor's nightmare. Thankfully, years ago someone came in and undertook a plan of survey information only and sort of connected the state survey marks to the boundaries um, which has been a sort of a lifesaver for me because the purpose of my job is to mark out a swimming pool and um, very difficult to uh, very difficult to get boundary definition. As you can see it's lost the target here so we won't worry about that for the time being. Better get off the road. I'll turn this uh, total station around. Lock the target. Excellent. Okay. Tilt going. Tilt compensation started. Tilt compensation stopped. Yeah, I was just uh, had to just double check something here. The benchmark that I put on the curb is just a triangle cut in the curb, and doesn't have a nail, which is no trouble. So we'll just measure to that and adjust the height using this point and ignore the position. So it's point number 1033. And as quickly as I press that button, the information is stored. Okay, so that's good. I've, I've measured to some marks. I'm now going to put my AP20 auto pole, etc., on the ground. And what I try and do is uh, just find a nice dry place and or put my hat down. That sort of protects things. I'm going to take the uh, controller off. Not all that easy to do sometimes. There you go. I'll protect the AP20, keep it nice and clean. And uh, I'll do some calculations and calculate my position. Yeah, so I've just uh, uh, hit calculate on the uh, free station or resection that I've used. You can see the results here we have, I'm on just on an arbitrary um, uh, sort of uh, coordinate system here. So I've, I've got uh, figures in the 200, 500 sort of range uh, with a height. And we'll just have a look at the targets. So the last point I read was point number 1033. So I've used 1D for that. Uh, the mark didn't actually have a nail, it was just a triangle cut in the curb, so I'm just using 1D, meaning just using the height for that point, and the other three points, 
1038, 1048, 1036. I'm just going to use 2D. We have a look at the quality of the pre station, pre section, and 6 mils, 6 mils by zero, which isn't too bad um, considering the marks here, um, as I explained earlier. The results of the other, uh, the availability of survey marks here and the accuracy of them is pretty poor and um, probably really, really need to uh, spend quite a bit of time out here and really sort of solve the, the boundary issues out here at Harabi Place in Worrywood. And um, it's not, a, not an easy thing for surveyors to measure around, thank goodness. We have the survey connected to these state survey marks like so, because without them it'd be very hard. There was supposed to be a concrete block buried just here. And um, I'm thinking maybe the original ground might have been up high where this tree is, not down here, but I'm not sure there's a water meter there. But uh, not to worry. But here's the uh, Leica Tier 16, and I've now recorded everything here. Yeah, so I'm going to hit set. Do I want to measure any more points? The answer is no. And everything has been set up, and I'm ready to go. So now I can measure from my total station over to my next station up here near my car so thanks again for watching appreciate you uh, getting this far if you've got any comments about surveying uh, please send them to the channel please like subscribe see you next time